This is Carrie Walker reporting from the annual meeting of the American Academy of Dermatology in San Diego. I'm here with Dr. Donald Belzito, who announced the contact allergen of the year, the Acrylates. Uh, they're picked for a number of reasons. First and foremost, they're ubiquitous in our environment, from plexiglass to paints uh, to uh, nail acrylics, dental uh, um, uh, enamels, uh, hearing aids, glasses, they're everywhere. Um, secondly, they're a very important sensitizers and uh, irritants in the manufacturing process. So it's the monomers. When uh, they harden, they're not an issue. And so it's very important for dermatologists to know that, for instance, an individual who's allergic to an acrylate doesn't have to be concerned about handling a plexiglass window. Those monomers are gone. And then also because it's recently come to light that there are issues with patch testing them. The materials are volatile and the, the materials should be kept frozen. They should be placed on the fin chambers immediately before testing. If you don't do that, the levels will decrease and you'll get false negative reactions. So they're common, they're a little bit tricky to deal with, and they have important issues in terms of what are the sensitizers and what are not sensitizers. Okay, and do you have any sense of how common allergies are to um, acrylates? In the consuming public, exposures to acrylates are, uh, the monomers are very rare. So you need to look within professions. So orthopedists, certainly because it's used as a bone cement. Dentists, yes, because it's used uh, in acrylic uh, overlays. Uh, um, manicurists, definitely because it's used in artificial nails. So those professions, very common. They're strong sensitizers. And that's another issue to make people aware of that they shouldn't be doing it routinely. It's really a, an allergen you should aim test for fear of sensitizing the patient. The average practicing dermatologist who isn't doing a lot of occupational dermatology just has to be aware that the nail manufacturing and cosmetic industry has undergone great change and that the formaldehyde resins uh, are being replaced by acrylates because women want nail polish that doesn't chip and the acrylates provide that character. So they need to be aware that those allergens are out there. And since they're not on the true test panel, and if that's what they're testing them for, then they, they may, need, may need to refer on so that the patients can be tested to the appropriate acrylics. This is Carrie Walker.